Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna talk about Java 13. Ta -da! And Java 13, it's the next release of Java and it will be released in September. Uh, I have given this package or this release the name Simplified Booster. Uh, because it simplifies a lot of APIs and how you write code and it boosts your development and it also has some um, changes and refactoring that will make things both work faster and also be easier to use. So that's the name I've given for this release. If we look what's in it, it's five different uh, YEPs and we're going to go through them one by one. So first off we have YEP 350, so 350. It's dynamic CDS archives. So this is these class archives that you can create on your system for your program and then you can use them to bootstrap when you are running your uh, program again so you get a faster execution if you want to run your program multiple times. So if you have a long running process it's not that important but if you have things that you start over and over this could be something that is interesting. CDS archives have been available in previous releases but they have been a little bit hard to use because you had to first off create a list of all the classes that you were using in your application and then you ran a specific command to get um, your program running with that list and then it will pre-compile those classes in that list and then you can run that archive on your system. Uh, they have tried to simplify this command by making um, available a feature where you can run your program with uh, <laughs> just as usual doing its work and then on exit it will save this dynamic archive that you can reuse and on the next load of your program. So the new flag they have uh, added is archive classes at archive classes at exit. And this will create this archive that you can reuse. So I think this is a really nice improvement and it seems to be very easy to use. Um, so I'm looking forward to one of these when this is in Java. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it because most of the things I've implemented is long running processes. But if you have something quick that you want to run often, this is a good way to do that. Next up, we have JEP351, and this is an improvement of ZGC or Genoa, which is was called in previous releases, or it was in that package at least. And, and this ZGC is something that can handle uh, from 200 uh, megabytes of memory all the way up to terabytes of memory. And it's a very interesting, very low latency uh, garbage collector. So the garbage collection should be done in um, an amount of 10 milliseconds. It should not take longer than 10 milliseconds. Uh, and this latest improvement is that f before it didn't really give you any memory back. It just ate up a lot of memory and then it was garbage collecting memory, but it kept the actual heap uh, for reusing later on. But if you are working in an environment where you pay for the actual memory that you use, say for instance in a hosted environment, then you want this memory to shrink so you can hold your costs lower. So this is an attempt to give some of that memory back uh, in the cases where the G GC memory has not been used in a while. Then we have JEP353 and uh, this is just a re-implementation of the legacy old uh, a socket API. The socket API has been available in Java since Java 1. It's 
about 20 years old it hasn't really been renewed or rewritten in any way uh, we have added new um, socket implementations but they are building on the same uh, technology and by re-implementing and rethinking this you can add support for fibers for instance when that comes later on and fibers are these uh, low impact threads uh, it's a very interesting concept but that's not now but when it comes it will be more um, susceptible to that technology and work w better with that, that technology uh, so that's one of the things the next thing is that they will handle uh, connection timeouts better in the new, new socket a API it will handle uh, closing sockets when you are exiting your application in a better uh, manner and so on um, so I think that this re-implementation was uh, something that was <laughs> coming down the pipeline either way and if they can get the socket API up to the today's standards and make it more uh, work better in a, a new Java environment that's a really good benefit for everyone uh, next up we have an interesting JEP which is uh, a part of one JEP and it's a continuation of another JEP it's the JEP 354 which is a continuation of 325 which is saw in the earlier uh, release uh, Java 12 and it's in a package of 305 which wants um, it, it which want you to make your switch statements and other statements in um, Java more like pattern recognitions than uh, the switch statements that we have today uh, so this is a switch expressions preview uh, and another one of those so we had the preview in the last Java 12 and now we have another with more functionality so in 12 we saw this and this was a shorthand way to have multiple statements in one switch uh, case and then do something uh, if any of those were true you also see here that you can have one liners or multiple lines but you don't have any break statements they just run the actual uh, block that is connected to that uh, uh, arrow so the improvements they have made is yielding values so if you have this new functionality you can also just say that if it's a Monday you should yield the value zero and then you don't need to have any extra keyword for yielding that and that will give you a value back to this variable j and then you see the default statement here where you take a k value run it through a specific function and then yielding the result back so you can have multiple statements and then yield the result on on a line inside of a block so this is an interesting improvement uh, where you add more functionality to the switch statement that we have today you can also yield values uh, from statements which usually had break statements and so on so you can use the old syntax with yielding values as well so uh, it gives you more functionality and more a uh, more flexible design without uh, removing any of the functionality that you had before um, or the the way of writing things so the syntax will be kept even in this release next up we have the text blocks uh, preview and this is uh, something that will <laughs> help you when you are trying to write long text segments so this is also a preview uh, this is something that you can try out it's not something that is finalized or something that is uh, said to be available in the language going forward it's something that they are trying out they implement something previewing it and it might be rect uh, rectified in in later releases uh, to be something stable uh, but the thing here is pretty much this you have a multi-line strings 
So before you have the left hand side where you have a string statement and then you have multiple lines with plus signs you had to uh, have a weird indentation so you actually saw what was going on you had to add uh, line breaks and so on and then on the right hand side you see that you don't have any line breaks you start with three uh, of these uh, string symbols so you start with three three of these carrots and you end with three of them and that makes it one multi-line string. So these are the five improvements in Java 13. I think this Java version is a good step forward. It's not anything mind-blowing, but then again, they, the whole point of the Java lifecycle going forward is to do iterations upon iterations and release small packages with good functionality. So this is now in a ramp down phase. So they will work on this in two ramp down phases and then they will have release candidates uh, and so on that you can try out. Um, so it's not anything that is released. You can actually try it at the moment. So now I'm just talking about functionality that will come to Java 13. Um, I hope that you found this video interesting. I hope that you are excited to use uh, Java 13 as I am. Um, I hope that you uh, learned something today. Uh, if you have any questions about Java 13 or the release schedule or the functionalities I've talked about today, please leave a comment, sec comment in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.